Yo, Vault Squad, what is going on? And today it is a 300 subscriber special. It's a very, very special milestone. I know we haven't been as active this year just because I've had a lot of stuff going on in my life and I was focusing on that. Also, we're gonna be opening up some amazing, amazing products because you know what we do. We're gonna be opening up this amazing Elemental Hero uh, collection. Uh, and then something new, Pokemon wise, we're gonna be opening up the Charizard UPC, the Ultra Premium Collection, as well as the newest set in Pokemon, some Silver Tempest. It's gonna be a banger, so guys, stay Yo, Wall Squad, 300 subscribers. I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the continued support. We haven't been posting a lot of videos this year, but we have been doing a lot of PSA submissions, so definitely. We're going to have more of those and we're going to have some more openings coming up without a doubt. But guys, thank you so much. Uh, it's been awesome. I love doing this. Uh, I'm glad I'm finally actually going to open some cool stuff. So today you saw the preview. We have some crazy product we're going to be opening up. Some old GX product, uh, Elements of Hero Collection, which actually for one of my middleman clients, Rosie, she actually hooked us up and is letting us open it for her. She wants the promos out the grade. Uh, hopefully they're in really good conditions, but we'll find out. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait to open up this UPC either for Pokemon. Uh, and we also have the new set, Silver Tempest. So it's going to be awesome. We'll be chasing that Lugia uh, full art. And guys, without further ado, we're going to kind of get into the giveaway. So the giveaway is actually going to be on Instagram. Um, it's going to be these three Halloween inspired cards. Uh, I will be doing another mini Instagram giveaway as well. But for you guys, I will be giving this to you guys, this Montage Shragging 10 from uh, 5Bs. And guys, all you have to do is be here. Comment if you want, whatever you got to do. Um, much love to you guys. And uh, yeah, definitely check me on Instagram on Billy's Card Vault because we're going to be doing some awesome stuff over there too. Uh, always have awesome content, a lot of stuff for sale. Cool stuff. But guys, let's kind of jump into this. I'm really excited because this set, um, literally, I don't. It's not even released yet. So by the time you're seeing this video, um, I don't think the official release is till the following Thursday. So this is like the pre-release kit, and I can't get this thing open to save my life. There we go. Um, so this is the pre-release kit, building battles. Uh, what this kind of comes with, it comes with one promo, usually. And then four packs. Oh, Arc Chops. So there you go. You see the Silver Tempest stamped promo. And these sealed packs. And we got four of them. So guys, let's hope we can pull that Lugia right there. Man, I like the pack art. It's definitely different. I know we don't do too much Pokemon, but I uh, wanted to change it up a little bit since we're doing this big Yu-Gi-Oh! product. I wanted to do a little bit of Pokemon in there too. And especially because this Pokemon product is really amazing. Wow, we started off with a Radiant Alakazam. Okay, a little Radiant action going on. I will definitely take that. Gardevoir. Not bad at that first pack magic right there. Let's save the Lugia for last. Hopefully that means we're going to get something good. Really hope. Alright, second pack. Let's see if we can get some fire. Get a full art. Let's see if we see anything shiny. We're going to see Smurgo, Esper, Dratini, Chinchou. Yo, we got a full art trainer and an Articuno. Ooh, I really like that art with the moon in the background. Dude, we got a full art trainer. That is what I'm talking about. Let's go. Trainer gallery, judge. And then we got a nice Articuno hollow. I got to sleeve these up, but I'll do that here in a second. Um... Man, second pack in, already pulling a full art. I hope we can keep that going. I want a full art Lugia now. Let's do this. Come on. Pewpider, Ponyta, Venomat, Waltz, Spinda, Ninetales is the Reese. Oh, 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 oh. We got a Mawile V Star. Yo, these are stacked. I don't know if this is good, but these are stacked. Let's go, V Star. Let's go. Okay. All right, guys, this is going to be a fire opening. I know already. I'm hoping when we get to like the Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, now the packs are unlimited, but the thing is we still pull ultimate rares. So a lot of big hero sets. 
hopefully we can pull an elemental here ulti um i think we can yeah we should be able to i don't because i don't know if they're like euro packs or what but we will definitely find out if not we could just pull a retail ulti so awesome cards i mean a lot of them are really good out of those sets i think it's elemental enter elemental energy tlm the lost millennium um Power of the Duelist, and I don't remember what, so that was the only one, and then we got V-Star card, I don't really know what that was all about, but that was like the only one that didn't really have a hit hit, so that's, I mean, I'll take that off the first rip. Out of those four packs, we just pulled absolute gas, like look at this, a Full Art Trainer, Mawile V-Star, a Radiant Alakazam, and this Articuno Hollow, awesome. So we do, we do have some really good pulls already, and then now... Uh, let's kind of get into this. Yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have ever opened this build in battles, but they're pretty cool. They come with, like, a full deck. So, if, like, basically you go to, like, a game store, um, you can get these open, or you can get these to kind of, like, start building a deck, and you just basically use those and build a deck with them. It's pretty neat. I, I think it's, like, a really cool thing they do with Pokemon. Um, I kind of wish Yu-Gi-Oh! did more of that. I guess it's kind of like tournament pack, but not really, because you actually have to play and build. But yeah, we got this giant product here. So I'm going to open it up up here because this thing is absolutely massive. I saw some people uh, not opening these because it just is a very rare product, believe it or not, even though it's new. They did a very limited print run, I think. Oh, man. So I'm going to kind of show this on the camera up here. Wow, this is stunning, guys. Like, this is stunning. Um, I know you don't see too much, but it comes with a game. It comes with a game mat. So it comes with a game mat. That's really cool. And then it has like all these compartments. So here's some packs. Here's some more packs. And I think these are just sleeves and other goodies. So we'll kind of go through everything that it has because this is really a sick, sick product. Um, so, I want to say, I want to say that is it. I'm not going to show you guys the rest because it's kind of just, yeah. I'll put that down to the side. So it comes with these awesome, let me just make some room here. It comes with these awesome sleeves. Charizard Full Art sleeves. Really, really cool. Um, metal weights. I don't know if these, these are just counters of coins. Some metal die, which are really cool. Um, there was a Pokemon set that came out. I'm trying to think. I don't remember exactly when it came out. But yeah, we got a... I think it was last year. Came with two... Uh, oh, here are the promos. Did we get some centered ones? I think so. All right, so we're going to crack that open. All right, and then it comes with... 16 packs guys so we have a lot of pokemon packs but let's get in these promos first let's see how good these look and if they're in like nice minty condition because they kind of just throw them in here and i want to grade these i'll be sending out these bulk submissions here so let's kind of hope we can get some good promos and, and grade some of these or grade these hopefully get some nice psa 10s i probably won't even flip them because i just really like the art on them but you never know I guess in the moment. I'm trying to be very, very careful. Opening this pack. Okay. So we have the Charizard V, which looks pretty nice. Um, looks pretty nice. I mean, there's a ding right there. I feel like these are going to be hard to get in PSA 10s. Um, but we have the Charizard V for he's resting after battle. But yeah, it has like a little ding right there, um, unfortunately. And then we got these other two Charizard. So we got the Charizard V Max Full Art. This one also does have a ding up there, ding down there. But we might get lucky. You might you you can still probably possibly pull out ten with those like little minor dings, but most likely nines. I will still probably send them out bulk because they're just so cheap. And then the Charizard V Star. Same kind of deal, dings on the corners. I feel like the pops on these are gonna be very, very low. For one, this one's off-centered, 
and then as well it's just coming right out of the pack it's just it has like dings and stuff so um yeah i guess we'll kind of see with those what the pops kind of look like going further in but yeah let's kind of get into this so we got all the packs here um all those cards aside. the side so we got fusion strike three fusion strikes three evolving skies two, vivid voltage darkness ablaze let's see what else we got um a lost origins two of those two astral radiant or three astral radiance and then three brilliant stars so we can pull absolute fire out of these i think what we'll do is we'll start from the older sets we'll go darkness ablaze first because it is the least lackluster set, I would say. Or the most lackluster set, not least. Um, but yeah, we'll kind of fly through these because I want to get into the main events. And we just got an Aeron code card. I'm going to have garbage everywhere, guys. Um, Astral Radiance. Where was that vivid voltage? There it is. Can we pull a Chonkachu? Oh, I would love a Chonkachu. And yeah, guys, feel free to let me know what your favorite card is out of this video. Hopefully pull some absolute gas from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Fanfi and Tornadus. Okay. Swellow. Put those to the side. All right, let's go into Astral Radiance. I know it's not the oldest, but it's one of the newer ones, but um, I don't know if this set's really that great. Okay, so Ponyta, Kickrock, Psyduck. Radiant Heatran, there we go, there's a pull. So that's our first kind of pull out of um, the UPC, out of 16 packs. So I'm hoping we can get some good pulls um, out of here. I don't even know what's in Astral Radiance. I think I think it's just like Dayaka and Palkia, Rowlet, Bronzor, Oshawa, Noctowl, Maliswine, okay. Really like that Noctowl art though. Pretty sweet actually for a reverse. And these V Star cards that are useless. And then we'll probably after this, we'll go into some Brilliant Stars. Because that's another set that I know nothing about and I don't think I opened any of it. Um, Nicket, Hippopotamus, Adin. All right, nothing. That's the reverse right there. Nothing crazy. Okay, so Astral Radiance. You got us a uh, <laughs> Radiant Heatran. Not what we want. So let's go into three. We're going to save the Evolving Skies for last. Origins 2 and Future Strikes. These these packs are here are bangers. So let's see. Oh, we can pull the Charizards out of Brilliant Stars. Okay. These sets actually, this set isn't actually bad because there is some really cool Charizards. Uh, v Stars, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we do have something. Ooh, Zekrom. Trainer Gallery. That's a cool card. I'm going to put you down there. Colker. Burked. Yeah, I don't know if you guys have been playing Pokemon Go. I've been playing Pokemon Go a lot, so definitely hit me up. I actually will probably put my Pokemon Go code, um, trainer code, in the um, description. So if you guys want to add me, feel free. And just like comment, say like, hey, I added you, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if you want down in the comments. Double Turbo Energy is our reverse, so nothing crazy out of that pack. Come on, let's get something good. We haven't gotten a good pull out of this, but at the same time, we're saving it for Evolving Size. Let's be honest. We want that Umbreon. Honestly, any full art. Any full art, like Umbreon full art, anything. Espeon. Any of the evolutions in a full art we want. Star you, Magma Basin, or Professor's Research. All right, so Brilliant Stars, you uh, gave us a Zekrom. Trainer, Trainer Gallery card. All right, let's do Lost Origins. Let's do Fusion Strike next. This UPC has been very lackluster. I'm a little disappointed in the promos, um, but we'll take a closer look at the ends. We'll see what we can predict on those. But I do have a huge PSA sub coming out, Do Spider, um, or going out, like multiples actually. I uh, had a lot of middlemen, so it's gonna be really cool to see some of those cards come back. Cause let me just say, some of those cards are like big time, big time cards. Come on, give us a full art. Let's do it. Mudkit, more Peko, 
funnel B, Latius. Ugh. Nothing, huh? Man, this thing is just... Because usually these have, like, hits. Like, when you get these boxes, you usually get, like, full art, full art, full art. You usually get hits. But it's okay. Like we said, we're saving it for the good packs. We don't want the full arts for these packs. Fusion Strike actually is pretty good. Like, it has a gold Gengar, um, which I've actually pulled. So I'm actually okay with that. I'm with my camera, my bad, guys. Must have did it. What? Swampert Dragapult. Okay, so there's a uh, uh, hollow out of that. Must have did that when I was moving the box. That big old box. All right. Evolving Skies last. Lost Organs. Can we pull that Giratina? Can we pull a Giratina or Aerodactyl? That would be really sweet. All right. Inkay. Porygon. Roselia. Come on. Clefairy. Slugma. Machoke. Finette. Oh, Go to the Halloween Pokemon right there. Yeah, I figured like the giveaway is kind of like a Halloween inspired giveaway. There we go. Garatina. I've actually been doing the raids in Pokemon Go for uh, this Garatina right here. Got quite a few shinies so far, so I'm pretty happy with the results already on that raid. <laughs> we got a gold card, guys. Let's go. That's what we want to see. What is it? Colgris Experience. Dark Patch. Okay, a gold card. Let's go. I will definitely take that. We'll sleeve you right up real quick. Get us a sleeve. Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right. I see you lost origins. Let's go. Gold card. I know the ratios on gold cards are pretty bad, so I'm pretty... It's a secret rare, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, it's a secret rare. Nice. I will definitely take that any day of the week. Nice little secret rare. And then we got the decoy packs. Let's go with this guy. Because it's a building. I forget what the Pokemon's even called. It's just a building. <laughs> like, I don't know who thought up. Yo, let's make a building Pokemon. Like, I mean, hey, some people might like it. It might be their favorite Pokemon. I'm sorry about bashing it. Dino, Drampa. Oh, nothing. Shellgon. I like Shellgon. All right, let's go with the Sylveon pack art as number two. Let's get a full art, guys. We haven't really hit much. We've hit that gold card. That's really about it out of this box. And 16 packs, like, that's pretty bad. Crystal Cave. Man, Ampharos. We're going to save it for last pack magic, guys. Last pack magic. Can we get something out of here? Sword and Shield Evolving Skies. Come on. Out of the Rayquaza arc. Wow, that ripped open real easy. Like, falling apart easy. Pumpkaboo! Aw, oh, perfect Halloween. Dude, we do have something. We have something shiny. Okay. We do have a full art, I think. Woo! Okay, not what you want, but I'll take it. Duraludon VMAX Rainbow Rare. Let's go. We'll take it. We'll definitely take it. It's a Rainbow Rare. Um definitely can't complain with that okay so that's not a secret word. that is okay so i have 16 packs we pulled a total of like four cards four cards yeah 16 packs the ratio is actually pretty bad i mean for higher end cards like Rarity wise, gold and a rainbow, um, not bad, but then not that great. I'm gonna be completely honest, I'm not too impressed with the ratios on this box, and usually these boxes are pretty good, so I'm um, a little disappointed, but you know what? We're gonna keep the spirits high um, because guess what? We have what we've been waiting for the Elemental Hero Collection. Let me just make sure I got all this stuff out of the way. So, we have this ultimate elemental hero collection. Now this thing, I am gonna be very gentle with, so um, not to damage any of the cards. I am gonna probably open it off camera. No, maybe not. We could probably do it right here. I think there's a little tear, actually. A little tear right there. So we'll just take our 
finger. Gently peel at that. All right. So just so you know, guys, this is what it looks like. Uh, Abion, Bersinitrix, Flamewing Man, and Bubble Man as the promos. And yeah, this is going to be pretty insane. Rosie, thank you guys. Thank you again, Rosie. I really appreciate you for letting me open this product. Um, it is really too kind. And let's hope these promos are good. And guys, definitely thank Rosie in the comment section because this is a crazy expensive product. And I'm not even exaggerating. This thing's like 800 to 1,000 bucks. So sealed collectors, I'm sorry. Um, but you know, someone's got to open it and he is Billy's Hardball. Um, because we are opening this crazy product. I'm gonna be very careful guys. Um, that's why I'm doing it off camera. Just right here, not technically off, but be very gentle. bend any cards or anything uh, drop the booklet so it comes with this like booklet so i'm put that on my lap for now if you look at this booklet it just shows all the different elemental heroes oh this is pretty cool potential elemental heroes ultimate potential of the elemental heroes wow this is really sweet pretty cool i i don't know if we've really seen so many of these opened on youtube um okay so I'm just doing this on my lap, guys. So one thing that's really bad about this is that the cards are kind of like glued onto the packs. So hopefully they're not damaged. All right, so we got Elements of Hero Avion. We'll start with this, um, The Lost Millennium. So sketch. How do they stick it on here? I don't want to like pull it off, like possibly damage it. Rosie, I know you're uh, really nervous here. I'm very nervous. This is like really on here. All right. Um. I think we're gonna open the pack first. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be very, very gentle with this because I think I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that off. I'm gonna have to cut the pack off and then go from there. But yeah, let's start off. So Elements of Hero, this is a Lost Millennium. Elements of Hero, Sparkman, Rock Bombardment, Pickery of Second Sight, DD Survivor, Lost Guardian, Ozia the Earth Charmer, Kemenot Bow, and Guardian Strike. So. We strike out on our first pack. All right, so this is Cyber Dark Impact um, with the Flame Wing Man. Wow. I can't believe they glued on here like this. This is crazy to me. anybody has some suggestions, that'd be nice. I wish. Just gotta be very, very careful. I'm pulling off slow. All right, so. Card is very minty, but now there's just glue on the back of it. So I'm not really sure how we're gonna get that off. Um, I could probably peel it off very easily. I'm doing this on camera just to show you guys. It does have some like silvering through there, but. Honestly? That wasn't as bad as I thought. And we might be able to clean that glue off. But yeah, this, so Rosie right here, this card looks very nice. Um, 
a little OC left to right. But I think you're looking at a solid nine here, to be honest. Solid nine. Very nice. Surface looks pretty good. It just has like these uh, little marks up there. But yeah, let's. All right. Whew. Stressing, guys. I'm, I'm stressing over here. Woo. Because these cards are not cheap. They're really not. Um, it's just crazy to me that's how they decided to do the product. All right, so let's open this Cyber Dark Impact pack. I'm going to definitely work on getting that um, Avion off. I, I don't really know what the best way to do this is. If it's easier to just pull the pack, open the pack while it's still on, or while the pack is still there, do it. But we will find out. All right, let's see. Do we have a hollow bend? Ooh, we might. I don't know. Let's do four from the back. One, two, three, four. Okay. So we got a Baki. Oh, this is first edition. Oh. Oh, first edition. Okay. A little bit of first edition action. Okay, a Baki Cyberdark Impact. I like this. Let's go. Chain Dentonation. Dark Lucius level four. Level down. Is that Arm Dragon? That is Arm Dragon. A ritual foregone. Combo Fighter. Flame Ogre. 2400 attack. Vanity's Call and. Oh! Yo, let's go. We got an ultimate rare degenerate circuit. Let's go. First edition. I think. I think we might grade this. I don't know. Yo, I was not expecting that. I did not have an ulti stamp at all. So that is awesome, guys. Let's go. Hit that like button for an ultimate rare. Vintage ultimate rare from Cyberdark Impact. That is a hit. Okay. It's not, I don't know if it's a huge pull. I, I haven't, I don't know this card very well, but it's, it's pretty clean. It's very clean. Um, beautiful. Yo, 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 yo. Okay. All right. Now we're talking. Put those back there. I want to try to get this Avion off. I think it's, it's definitely easier when you get the cards out. Because then you can just kind of not bend the card and rip the pack off um this one looks really nice though guys i just want to get this glue off i can't believe they do this you can kind of like see the glue residue on there so i'm gonna try to see if i can take like a micro microfiber cloth and clean it up before i submit but all in all pretty good Let me see if I can get this off. There it is. There's just like a tiny, tiny bit of glue residue. Um, I could probably get it off. But yeah, let's go, all right. So that looks pretty good. A little weird right there but nicely centered beautiful yeah that almost looks like it's like a ding or something right there maybe that was to the left of the glue because the glue is right here very weird very weird okay but still awesome they look pretty good. I do have to say they look pretty good, um, which is the good part. All right, let's go into um, Power of the Duelist. So we're going to be very careful. We're going to open the pack first. Not to damage the promo. 
Guys, when I tell you this is like really nerve wracking, it is. And I'm sorry it's taking a while, but I just want to be very delicate because this is a very expensive product. One, two, three, and four. Let's see if we can get another hollow, guys. Power of the Duelist, Royal Wit of Taxation. Relis, the Starbird. I feel like I've never seen this card. Sabersaurus. Okay, let's go. Black Stego. Flying Saucer Music, one. Hey, Elements of Hero Neos. That's always good to see. Jaden, Jaden card right there. Wonder Garage, Baby Sorosaurus, and a D-Chain with a name shift. D-Chain with a name shift, not bad, okay. Try to get this guy off now. Gentle. Okay. Man, this glue is like heavy duty too. I do have to say. Rosie, thank you for trusting me with this and letting people experience this product and seeing it open on YouTube. All right, Bubble Man, a little bit OC left to right, but this card looks awesome to be honest. Very clean, no whitening, uh, maybe like little dabs right there, but very, very minimal, like very minimal. I know it looks like more, but in person, it honestly looks more like extra card. Looks more like extra card, to be honest. Um, but I think this is like, these are like easy nines, which are still pretty good for these. Um, but we want to try to gem one for sure. We definitely want to try to gem one. All right, so we're going to save, save the waifu for last for Shinatrix. This one you can already tell is OC, but we have elemental energy. All right, I'm gonna be very, very careful with this, guys. Last pack, let's see if we can get some magic like we did in that Cyber Dark Impact. So I hope you guys are enjoying this 300 subscriber special. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content and Pokemon and Waste. Um, I actually, my plan was to open up Waste, Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon for this. Um, but my waste box didn't come in, so I'm a little little upset about that. But it's alright, because we just opened more Pokemon. It looks like we do have a hollow bend here, so definitely doing the pack trick. One, two, three, four. Alright guys, Elemental Energy. Can we pull something crazy? Can we pull an Ultra Rare Elemental Hero? Can we pull an Ultimate Rare, another one? Um doesn't have secret rares yet in this i don't think right yeah no no secret rares in en familiar possessed aza nano breaker wow i really like that card okay i've never seen that i feel like feather one maybe because i just don't open much of these older packs like the gx league of uniform we we are a 5g's you know channel here primarily hey ellen to hero wild heart always love to see elements of heroes get pulled W Wing Catapult. I think it's the last card. We do have a hollow. Dark Deal. And guys, for last pack magic, E E N, what do we have? We have a monster card. Ooh, gold. Woo Lord of Dark World. Not bad. Honestly, two for four. We pulled an ulti out of a first edition Cyber Dark Impact pack. And then we pull in a super rare gold Woo Lord of the Dark World. Not too bad. Now let's really try to get and finish this up by getting this first furniture off. Very, very gently. All right, that's one step. Next step, I'm gonna be getting this glue off. Um, this one does look pretty clean on the back. For some reason, this glue feels way harder to get off than the other ones. 
But yeah, guys, I hope you did like this. Definitely something different. I know um, this part is a little tedious and I'm sorry for that, but I just want to get it all on camera. So there's no funny business. I know Rosie trusts me, but it's just more for also your knowledge as well. Oh no. Why you gotta do me like this card? Why you gotta do me like this glue? You gotta leave that little strand like that? Come on. That's all right, we just roll it up nice and slow. All right, guys, let's take a look at this for Sinitrix. So this card looks really, really nice. Um, I would say very, very, I'm gonna put this more on the card, very, very minimal waxing, if any. Um, maybe some very, very, very light surface scratches, like right, and waxing right there. Um, and yeah, just OC, I mean, it, it's not horrible. None of these cards were bad. None of them had bad dings, bent corners, anything. And I think that's a huge success. Um, like, huge success. So these are the four cards in all their beauty, man. These are gorgeous. Bubble Man. I'm going to just try to clean them up. Try to see if we can get that, like, uh, that mark off there. Because it does leave, like, a glue kind of, like, mark. But uh, Bubble Man right there, beautiful Avion, which I have to clean up a little bit more. It does have like a little bit of a ding or something right, right there. I don't know if you can see it right there, right there, but they might not bag it. I've seen definitely worse, but this is like really nicely centered, this one. So this one, if there's any that are in a gem, it's gonna be this one, I feel like. As long as they don't hit that, um, whatever that is. Should be good. And then Flame Wing Man, we just saw Burst Cinetrix. And this just has like some stuff right there, which I will probably get off of the microfiber. See that right there? Just looks like it's like glue, some wax, a light scratch right there. I think all in all, these are all very, very good solid nines. Very, very good solid nines, which for these are still, it's excellent. I mean, you just saw we the conditions you have to get to pull these off are crazy, but those are absolutely gorgeous. This was awesome. Don't know if it's an expensive card, but still, it's an ultimate rare first edition. And then all of these pulls from Pokemon. Guys, I think that was pretty successful. I don't know about you. Um, I mean, just these cards alone are pretty pricey, I'm sure. And then, yeah, some awesome cards, guys. I hope you did like that. Thank you guys again for the 300 subscribers. And, yeah, much love. Um, we'll be having more openings in the future. Uh, Christmas time's coming around. I know this is going to be out right about Halloween. So, guys... Enjoy it. Take out your kids if you have kids. And yeah, get some candy. And yeah, Billy Biceps out. Billy Cardball out. Much love, guys. Peace out.